Hey, LS fan Jason here, here in my studio. Today I want to explain you how I created my last video using music from Artlist. If you don't know Artlist, Artlist is one of the biggest music platforms out there and their concept is that their license covers everything and that's like one of the biggest advantage and why I really prefer using their music because regardless if, if I have a personal project or a commercial work um, I don't have to worry about copyright issues. So yeah, today I want to show you how I created my last project and I used three different types of songs from Artlist and yeah, let's jump into, into the editing in DaVinci Resolve and I explain you step by step um, why I chose which music. Alright, now we're in DaVinci Resolve, which is my go-to editing software. So this project is entirely edited in DaVinci Resolve. Um, yeah. um, this video has three sections, so the intro part, then um, the part where we build up tension and the last part, I call it the commercial section, is where I want to show the product at different places. Um, and that's exactly um, the way I chose my music. So I, I chose th three different types of music for this project. The first is more like a, a happy, um, lightweight song for the introduction. The next one is more a song where tension is built up. And the last should be more kind of a funky, groovy song um, also happy but not too dramatic. So let's watch the first scene without music. So you have my friends walking up to his motorbike. As said, it's, it's where you want to first introduce the bike. You don't want to have too much tension and so it's exactly how I, how I chose this song. And it basically stops with him turning on the engine. For this I chose the song Dead or Alive from Artlist. And now let's just watch that first part with the music chosen. As you can hear, it's kind of like a country, a country kind of music with guitar. It's, it's kind of happy, it's not too dramatic. As you don't have too much tension here, it builds up. And then for the second part, let's quickly watch that. You basically have the drone going down into a dive. So there is a lot of speed and momentum going on. You have passing rocks. And there you, you want to build up as much tension as possible because it's basically the drone is approaching and my friend starts driving, accelerating on the dam. So there all the tension needs to be built up. And for this, um, my music choice was a more a cinematic, tension-based um, song. And I chose this song Wisdom Blade, also from Artlist. And let's, let's quickly watch with the transition from the first to the second scene and then with the songs applied. You can see here it turns on and then you go into the dive and you can hear this epic music with a lot of tension. Still tension is built up, the drone is approaching. And then here, I wanted to basically make a fade into a more commercial type of music section. So there, uh, my third song, let's watch it, watch it back without music. You basically have me flying over my friend. And then with this shot, we kind of leaving this scene, the dam and go to like different other locations. So a nearby location and then we have yeah, the switch to, to, the, to the main road and you show the project at different places. So that's for me is more like the commercial section and we don't need to build up more tension. And for this I chose like this more um, funky, rocky um, song and I chose a third song, um, um, this song Like the Robot and yeah, let's watch basically the transition from scene two to scene three with the, the third music applied. So here we have then the cut and then fade slowly into the last section going over my friend. This, this soundtrack has still a little bit of tension at the beginning but it's you can hear it's it's not too cinematic and it has like more power. Um, 
and I think that that soundtrack fits perfectly for a commercial scene. Yeah, and then you can see basically it does a switch and then you, you go into another drone shot and the, the music becomes a different pace. It's not as powerful at the beginning. And then we basically go back to the, to the initial location, the dam, and you wanna show the product one more time. So here in this shot, you wanna sh show basically, really focus again on the product. That's it, and yeah, if we apply all the sound effects, I wanna quickly show you one part, why it's, why it's important and why it really goes well with the music. And I wanna play back the entire project, but especially here, I wanna show you with the sound effects applied. You have like the, the shine effect, you can have like a whoosh, you can have a helicopter, which adds more and more depth because you wanna build up as much tension as possible in this section. So overall, I didn't choose too many sound effects, but especially for this, this part, I wanna, wanna use a lot of sound effects. Yeah, and that's it. Three simple song in one and a half minute, in a one and a half minute video. And I, I think uh, it worked pretty well with the footage. So really happy with the outcome. And we're back. I hope you enjoyed the video and I also hope that I could explain you better why I choose which type of music. Um, in the description of the video, I have a link. If you click on it, you get basically two months for free. And yeah, I'm looking forward to see your projects.